the Engineering Perspective Channel was right. Back in September 2021, I was the first to predict that the Model S Plaid could significantly exceed 200 miles per hour. The calculation showed that the motor's top speed of 20,000 RPM would result in 220 miles per hour. And now we have video evidence that proves those assumptions. This video also tells us a lot more than just the top speed. So stick around and let's talk about it. Welcome back to the Engineering Perspective Channel. For those that are new, I've spent many years developing automotive powertrain for both internal combustion as well as electric vehicles. So I'll be looking at some of the latest EV news from an automotive engineering viewpoint. I create this content as a hobby, but your support is motivational. So please take a moment to hit that like button. Ever since the Model S Plaid was announced, it had been capturing the attention of many car enthusiasts. When they showed the power curve and how it was maintaining peak power from 80 to 200 miles per hour, many of us knew that they weren't lying when they were claiming it to be the quickest production car ever. Since then, it has been dominating drag strips, easily running low nine second quarter mile times, and leaving Seoul to be the last remaining claimed benefit of the internal combustion engine. However, a major promise that has not yet been delivered is the 200 mile per hour top speed claim. Today, it's only able to hit 163 miles per hour in drag strip mode and 174 miles per hour in track mode. That is until a gentleman in Canada found a way to overcome the software limitations and was able to hit 216 miles per hour. I'll put a link to his video in the description below. Let's take a look at that run again. I want you to pay attention to how quickly this car is still accelerating when it hits 216 miles per hour. Clearly, there's more left in it. If you watched my previous videos, we looked into the details of power, tractive force, and road load and realized this car is not going to be drag limited until we are well above 220 miles per hour. If we use the information from my previous videos, we can see how much capability the car still has left. Let's start with the basic equation of force equals mass times acceleration. The force is a net result between the road load and the tractive force. And the mass, I will assume, is the weight of the car plus driver. Here are my assumptions. You can pause to read. Here are the road load equations. It shows 2,589 newtons of road load at 200 miles per hour, which is the equivalent of 310 horsepower of drag, and 1,000 horsepower with an estimated 10% drivetrain loss is 7,506 newtons of tractive force, also called thrust. If we then plug in all the numbers to calculate acceleration, you can see the car is still accelerating at above 0.2 G's at 200 miles per hour, which is crazy fast for a production car. This means about five miles per hour per second, which is looking at the video seems about right. My result is showing 0.22 G's, and if we go back to the original video, it shows around 0.2 G's measured with the draggy. It's hard to know exactly how close I was because the draggy data is bouncing around, and only shows one digit. Regardless, the Plaid powertrain is impressive. And once they pair it to the upcoming Roadster, it will be even better. The fact that his initial data is showing a standing mile in 24.73 seconds at 210 miles per hour shows there's so much capability left in this car. I wouldn't be surprised to see if some runs are getting in the high 23 second range. So there you have it. The Plaid powertrain keeps impressing, and I can't wait to see what's next on the list. If you stick around, I think Tesla has some more tricks up its sleeve for the Model 3 and Y.